What's up everyone, Chris with Coalition Gaming here and there's some great news for streamers out there with the new OBS V23 update, stay with me. So for the longest time I've been using a two PC setup to stream and that was using OBS NDI. The NDI plugin made things so awesome to offload everything onto a second computer, well mostly everything, to maintain gaming performance on the main computer and it was great and all. It did have its little issues, fine, it's okay, it worked well enough for the amount of time that I use it. If you guys want to check more out on NDI though, make sure you click on the link up here. Anyways, OBS recently released a new update thanks in part to NVIDIA for working closely with the OBS dev team and what they did with that was improve the NVIDIA encoder engine, the NVENC engine inside of OBS. What it used to do is the CPU would still act as the middleman for when the GPU was selected to encode your streams. You'd want your GPU to encode your streams to take the load off your CPU. X264 is CPU intensive. So basically an i7, like a four core, the older i7s, they were barely enough to cut it at the CPU intensive X264 very fast preset. You always needed something with a lot of cores in order to game and stream on the same machine. NVENC helped with that, but its visual quality wasn't the greatest at lower bit rates. However, 720p60, 4,000 kilobits per second bit rate upload on that one and you'd be set. Anything over 4,000 720p60 will still be smooth and still look good. But the advantages now that OBS V23 brought was that the new engine will further reduce the load on the CPU. So instead of going from, from GPU to CPU to OBS and then back, it goes directly from GPU to OBS. So cutting the CPU out reduces overhead on your system, helps maintain FPS on your games, and helps maintain having a buttery smooth stream, which is awesome. So the major advantage of that is you'll be able to do all your streaming on one single system. However, there is a little bit of configuration involved and today we're gonna to be going over that. Oh, and something incredibly important when it comes to this is that if you are an RTX card user, or I suppose a Turing based graphics card GTX user now that the 1660 Ti is out, the updated NVENC chip on the Turing cards, the new version of OBS is also able to take advantage of that and improve your quality. So where sometimes people said that NVENC isn't enough, Honestly, it really is, but it's gotten even better. So the new Turing NVENC chip lets you get your streams roughly equivalent to the CPU intensive X264 medium preset. And that's really awesome too. What that means is that your streams will look as good as if you are doing a two PC stream setup and the second PC was encoding at X264 medium. So OBS V23, especially for Nvidia card users, is a giant boon to single PC streamers or just streamers in general. What's great about this though is that the improvements aren't restricted just to the RTX cards or just to the uh, 1660 Ti or Turing based cards. Every NVENC compatible of GPU is able to take advantage, at least in some part, of this improvement overall. Anything from the NVIDIA 600 series that's Kepler and higher can take advantage of the performance improvements. And that's just great as well. You gotta say, OBS and NVIDIA working together on this has been very fruitful for everyone. So enough digressing, let's get down to the desktop and go over what you need to change to take advantage of the new stuff. Okay, so here we are at the desktop. We're gonna pull OBS right into here. As you can see, I got my OBS live windows going. And so I'm gonna go into settings. And once we're in settings, you, we, we wanna check, uh, we're gonna check output. So output, you're gonna switch output mode over to advanced and then you're gonna make sure that it says NVENC H.264 new. That will ensure you're on the newest uh, H.264 NVENC encoder that is part of the OBS V23 update. Rate control, we're gonna put the CBR. Bit rate is, uh, good, let's say, no more than three-fourths of your total internet upload speed. I have 10 megs up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set it at 5,500. Keyframe interval. For YouTube and Twitch, I know that that needs to be two, so go ahead and set that to two, and then we're gonna put the preset to max quality. So the profile, we're gonna leave it on high. Look ahead, we're gonna leave that unchecked, and then psychovisual tuning, we're gonna leave that checked. GPU zero just means that it's going to be using your primary GPU, which probably is the only GPU in your system. So leave that alone. And max B frames to two. Now this is actually kind of a, uh, a sort of 
bandwidth intensive setting so you, two is the best balance there so we're just going to go ahead and leave that at two go ahead and apply that then let's go on over to your video section in the video section you set your base canvas resolution to the resolution of your monitor if it's a 1080p monitor otherwise it's set it to the resolution of the games that you're going to be streaming ideally um, I'm just assuming here but most people are going to be on 1080p so I'm setting this to 1080p and a good streaming resolution that is not going to hit your system very hard still look smooth and still look good is 720p 60 fps so the output scaled resolution determines what twitch or youtube or whatever service that you're streaming to is going to receive and show to everyone so we're going to put that to 1280 by 720 the downscale filter is going to be laxos and then the common spf common fps values we're just going to put that to 60. So something you guys can't forget to do is make sure you put your stream key. So depending on the service that you use, YouTube or Twitch or anything like that, you want to go ahead and put that there. Something that's really cool about the new update is you can actually connect your account directly. But for the sake of simplicity, we're going to use it the normal method and, and use the stream key. And what's really awesome is if you have a if you set it as stream key you have this option to click the link and it will take you directly to the site for you to pull the stream key and paste into here which i think is really cool it's a nice new feature and i know it works for in obs here to that link page works for twitch and youtube so as you can see the obs v23 configuration to take advantage of the new nvenc is actually really simple to get up and running really nice stuff and we're back so that just goes to show you that getting up and running with the new obs update is actually pretty straightforward pretty simple follow essentially the same rules that you would for streaming anywhere else and make sure that you select that nvenc h264 new encoder under the advanced tab so let's look at a quick comparison just to validate these claims so x264 medium side by side to the nvenc at the same bit rate same key frame interval same b frames what do you guys think Hopefully this is an improvement that you guys all like. I think that maybe X264 medium is just still a tad better, but for 99% of everyone out there, this is gonna make it where it's roughly equivalent and most people are just gonna love the quality of the streams at this point. This will open a lot of doors because people who would rely on two PC setups or people who would aspire to have a two PC setup and have to spend money on an Elgato or an AVIO capture card or anything like that, well, no longer necessary. <laughs> There are still advantages to the two PC setup though, but that's a discussion for another video. Anyways, hope you guys liked this video. Click that thumbs up if you liked it and uh, subscribe, we always got more coming. Join our Discord, it'll be linked in the description below. All our socials and everything will be linked in the description below. Follow us on our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. We always have different content being posted in different places. We do build streams as well as our weekly streams and that's over on Twitch. Also the weekly streams are on YouTube, Thursdays 8 p.m. Pacific, make sure to check that out. We'll see you all in the next video. Make sure to check out the related over here, or is it over here? Oh, anyways, see you guys, bye.